What did cook with Pinot for tonight? Oh, hello there. You caught me on a fun night. I'm cooking for myself, a little Italian. You want in? Sounds good, it's pretty good timing. We're in for another edition of Sherman's Word. This time we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Tonight, we're gonna talk about cooking. And this is not an advertisement for anything. I'm just gonna tell you why I love cooking for myself. So let's get into it right now. Cheers. Now first things first, when in Rome, right? I think I need to dress up a little bit. That's better. Now, I think it's time we also lighten the mood. With an instinct classic that really gets me going. Now I'm in the mood. Let's get cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Chicken sausage rigatoni. One of my absolute favorites from HelloFresh. Now, pasta. Okay, I picked this meal, guys, because it's a little middle of the road with difficulty. I think this one might be difficulty two. It's a little stressful. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first time you do this stuff, it's like step one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lot, but I'm gonna show you today. Stress-free and enjoyable. So let's start cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Really great lighting in here, right? Great lighting. You guys ever heard of a mincer? I didn't know what a mincer was a year ago. Now I got like top of the line mincer. Let me just show you. I purposely get garlic dishes so I can mince. Look at this. It's like a, oh shit, I've done this before actually. Dope. Excellent. Look at that. Can you guys see? Probably not. Also, the wine that I'm drinking tonight, the Pinot Project, shout out to my mom. Bell pepper, dice, bang, bang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, slice the scallions. Oh. Love how this is looking so far. Obviously, I'm just cutting vegetables at this point, so not really that impressive. I'll show you this guy real quick, too. One egger, who knows? Shout out to my brother for getting me this. Look at this. Nice. Get some of this going. A little olive oil. Look at this, huh? This is nice. Every time Tony Soprano grabs a pack of mayonnaise. Anthony Jr., calm. Christopher. Life is just the Hello Fresh meal. What step are you at in life? Are you boiling the water yet? Have you already cooked your rigatoni? You can find the metaphor from there. Hi, right, welcome back. It's such a beautiful day here. I had to put some sunglasses on. As you can tell, I did rotate the pan. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It's rigatoni time. Mm, I wish you were here with me now, ladies and gentlemen. Step five, ladies and gentlemen. Step five. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Smelling very good. Pasta's taking its time. That's what I want. I want to slow cook for the al dente, okay? Al dente, I'm not gonna lie. Still haven't mastered it, even in the slightest. Did I already mention butter? The more butter, the better, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are still there with me right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you a drink. Hold on one sec. Here you go, sir and ma'am. Cheers. You gotta make mistakes to learn from them, you know what I mean? We chef! Ladies and gentlemen, top it off with a little of the scallions. Look at that. Why is the light, the lighting is so bad, isn't it? So bad, I gotta work on this. Beautiful coloring. You can see it like this. Beautiful coloring. Really, really perfect pasta, I would say. The Parmesan cheese is melting as I speak. We got an al dente. Chicken sauce has turned out well. And now for the finale.
Oh man. Mm-hmm. Mm. It feels good to treat yourself. I would encourage you all to do the same. Thank you guys for tuning in to another edition of Sherm's Word. This has been Why I Love Cooking. If you guys think this might have been my first rodeo or hey, he's just doing on directions, I've got some testimonials coming up here right now to show you that just because you do meal prep, just because you have directions, doesn't mean that doesn't help you as a cook. I'm still in the kitchen and I'm making meals of my own. And I'm going to show you an example right here. Stay tuned. But thank you again, guys. Cheers. Another satisfied customer. Coming to you live from the North Cascades National Park, Matt asked me to speak on his cooking. Having lived with Matt for over five years, I can say I've seen his cooking go from not being able to, to ramen in the microwave in college, to combining two pounds of raw beef, cilantro and hamburger helper at once, to burning things in the oven, to now combining 10 ingredients into a single meal and getting it done in 30 minutes. He's become quite the chef, and I think he finds so much passion in cooking similar to music because he's able to share something he's great at and something he loves with his friends and family. Chef Sherman, thanks for having me on, bud. Uh, here today to give a little testimony on how much better of a chef my friend Mr. Sherman's been getting. Um, don't tell any HelloFresh executives, but he might even be sneaking off to Costco and going off the grid and just getting his own ingredients, following his own instructions, because that's kind of what HelloFresh has done for him. You know, I, I can't tell if I'm more proud of him or HelloFresh for its adamant follow-up on giving me a free week. I swear to God, I've tried so hard to unsubscribe. I don't like mushrooms, so I don't want it. But Matt has been just as adamant. Matt's gotten a lot better at cooking, and I can attest to that. So, love you, big guy. Keep cooking.